Hi, so this video is by way of introduction to circle theorems. I'm going to put it as the very first video on the playlist. Uh, the playlist, generally speaking, looks at different exam questions. However, what I thought was it'd be good to have a little bit of an orientation on the way circle theorems work. Basically, we're talking about usually the relationship between various parts of a circle. Um, so, for instance, one of the circle theorems, which is actually six, is that if you have a chord and the radius to that chord is perpendicular to it, so in other words, it's 90 degrees, so you've got a radius which is 90 degrees to the chord, then this side and this side are the same length. OK, um, I don't know where you would need to use that, but it is used occasionally in some of the questions that you might come across, as is this one, which is um, a similar sort of idea, really. And if you've got a chord like that and a chord like that, now this does come up a little bit more often, and it's the angle between two chords are always 90 degrees. So that does come up from time to time okay so the angle at the semicircle here is at 90 degrees okay the next circle theorem that you're going to use is one that does come up quite a lot and actually i'm going to refer to it quite a lot in some of the um the videos of the questions and that's all about a cyclic quadrilateral which is basically a four-sided shape inside a circle and they call it a cyclic quadrilateral okay I really like that word okay so um, the thing that you need to be aware of with this and it does come up quite a lot um, is that the opposite angles equal 180 degrees so we've got x and y and x plus y if I write that here x plus y equals 180 degrees and also the opposite uh, ones across the horizontal here so let's call that a and b and we've got a plus b equals 180. Okay so this is uh, quite a good theorem it's used quite a lot as is also the other one that sort of goes hand in hand with this one and again you'll see that on a couple of the videos on uh, on some of the questions the exam questions so you've got a circle, slightly smaller circle now, okay, and this particular one says that if you've got a shape like this, which is where you've got uh, two chords either side here, and you also take this angle by radiuses to the centre of the circle, then actually this angle here is double the angle at the top. So if this angle at the top is, say, x, uh, this angle here is 2x. OK, that's quite a useful one, and you will come across that one and the cyclic quadrilateral one on a fairly regular basis. OK, I'll try to draw my circle a little bit bigger this time. OK, so we've got that one, and this is called the... Um, it's called the alternate segment theorem, okay, and it's used a little bit uh, from time to time. You do come across it. Now, um, it's a little bit tricky to draw, so I'm going to have to refer to my notes, but basically, if you've got a tangent, okay, and you create from that tangent a um, shape like this, uh, this is a, a chord along here, so this is a chord. OK, then this angle and this angle, although I've not drawn it particularly well, but this angle and this angle are the same. So actually, x here and x here is exactly the same. I'm really sorry, it's not a particularly good drawing. I can see it from here. OK, so the final one that you're going to come across, this one. So these three, this one, this one and this one are all used fairly frequently. So those are the ones that you really need to be familiar with. Um, occasionally you also come across this one, which has got a really nice shape inside it, which is this. So what we do is we've got um, those and providing these are chords. So in other words, they touch the circumference of the circle. Then actually this angle and this angle are the same. So 
If this is X, then this is also X. Okay, um, pretty much that covers circle theorem. As I say, it's just really by way of introduction. Um, the three that you need to be aware of are those three. The other three do crop up. Probably this one is also reasonably familiar on some of the GCSE exam paper questions as well. I uh, hope that's useful to you. Uh, sorry that the circle's not fantastically well drawn, particularly that one. Um, I probably couldn't make a living as an artist. Um, but I do hope that you will subscribe to the uh, to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. However, I'm quite a good artist actually. And what I'll do is I'll draw a picture of um, a little caterpillar like this. So what you do is you, all these little circles and then you've got these little legs on. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then what we can do is we can give him a little hat, okay, a big eye like that, okay, a big smiley face, okay, and there's his little mate following him along. So that's pretty good. So I can do artistic things from time to time as well.